Well, now to politics. Governor Jerry Brown has just launched a very public battle against President-elect Donald Trump. And Brown says he will fight Trump tooth and nail on climate change, something Donald Trump once tweeted is a hoax. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with all the details. Dave. Yeah, let me tell you, Jerry Brown came out swinging today, no question about that. He was on the attack. Heretofore, Jerry Brown has been pretty quiet about President-elect Donald Trump, but not anymore. Today, Brown launched a no-holds-barred attack, a preemptive strike against expected big changes in climate change policy when Donald Trump becomes president. And he said the administration needs to understand that California will fight back. We got a lot of firepower. We got the scientists, we got the universities, we have the national labs, and we have the political clout and sophistication for the battle. And we will persevere. Have no doubt about that. In a fiery speech to the largest earth and space science conference in the world, held in San Francisco, California Governor Jerry Brown threw down the gauntlet to the incoming Trump administration, warning that any attempt to dismantle climate change programs will be resisted and defeated, including any attempt to shut down satellite measurements of climate change. I remember back in 1978, I proposed a Landsat satellite for California. They called me Governor Moonbeam because of that. <laughs> I didn't get that moniker for nothing. <laughs> and if Trump turns off the satellites, California will launch its own damn satellite. We're going to collect that data. The fighting tone was well received by the scientists attending the convention, who gave Brown a lengthy and enthusiastic standing ovation. It was so timely and so needed. It was so inspiring and motivating and really um, a call to action for uh, science to realize that truth always outwins rhetoric. Brown also ripped President-elect Trump's nominee to be the next Energy Department Secretary, former Texas Governor Rick Perry, who reportedly sits on the boards of at least two oil pipeline companies and traveled to California on several occasions when he was governor to try to convince companies to move to Texas. Well, Rick, I got some news for you. California is growing a hell of a lot faster than Texas. And we got more sun than you have oil. And we're going to use it. In fact, Claremont McKenna College political science professor Jack Pitney says Perry's nomination Tuesday for energy secretary may have triggered Brown's outrage. The tip-off was the Secretary of Energy, Governor of Texas, big supporter of fossil fuels, who, as Governor of Texas, uh, made a point of taunting California. And I think that was uh, the straw that broke the camel's back for Jerry Brown. But when it comes to climate change, the Trump transition team feels Brown is tilting at windmills right now. The president-elect is a very common-sense-oriented guy. And basically what he said is, if we reduce carbon emissions, the air is going to get cleaner. That is a positive thing. Whether you believe in climate change or not, uh, we want clean air. We have the laws, we have the tools of enforcement, and we have the political will. And we will set the stage, we'll set the example, and whatever Washington thinks they're doing, California is the future. In fact, Brown has now become the first Democratic governor to openly challenge and attack Trump's perceived policies in such a combative manner that he could become the new commander-in-chief's attacker-in-chief. Jerry Brown, uh, been there, done that, seen it all. Uh, he's not afraid of anything, and Donald Trump's going to have a fight on his hands. Now, some scientists working for the Energy Department, EPA, and other related agencies believe the idea of dismantling climate change programs could even jeopardize their research data. And other scientists who teach and conduct research at colleges and universities fear federal research funding for climate change studies could dry up as well. Lena?